Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can change easily the hair color in Photoshop using gradient map. Okay, let's open photo in Photoshop and firstly I want to add a bit of lightness for the photo. Let's go to curves. Uh, let's move the curve up like that and um, let's go to image apply image let's make sure it's background normal and check invert yeah it's very important because like that it will be applied to the shadows yeah so like that we're filling shadows with light okay next let's go to selective color let's go to red let's make red more intense Okay, next yellow, let's do the same. Let's add black, yellow. Okay, next let's go to gradient map. Let's choose this yellow orange and let's use it as soft light. No, no better multiply. Okay, command E to invert the mask and with a soft white brush, let's paint the hair. And here you can use any color, gradient with any color you like. I, I choose this yellow and let's change the yellow to more reddish color. Okay, this one looks natural. Great, okay. And let's lower opacity. Okay, great. And uh, let's zoom it a bit to make it more accurate. Great. Let's not forget about the eyebrows. Great. Okay, next step let's copy our layer and let's choose another gradient more dark to add more natural look okay let's copy again our first gradient map layer let's invert the mask and lower opacity to add a bit of yellow to the skin let's copy again our layer the first one let's lower opacity great and then let's go to levels let's pull shadows and highlights to the middle to add some contrast and let's grab our previous mask the mask of the hair to this layer okay just not to make it again and let's lower the opacity. So next let's correct a little bit our mask. Uh, let's remove from some parts just to make it just to make it natural. Yeah. Okay. Then let's go to curves. Let's add a bit of light. And let's again grab and pull the mask of the hair, holding Alt, yeah, like this. We can copy the mask. And then let's go to selective color. Let's make again the same mask by holding Alt and pulling the mask. And let's see what we can do to make it more intense and more natural. So here, just depends what color you're using and let's group these layers to see before and after great let's add texture with yellow color to make photo look to look more warm let's copy the texture and make second layer invisible and the first one we will use blending mood multiply lower opacity and let's blur it yeah because you can see in the face you can see all this texture 
which is not nice so let's blur it and like that we will have just color yeah we will not have this texture and i like this color great and then the second layer we will leave with the texture multiply lower opacity but we want to remove it from the face so let's just grab some color in the middle of the texture and let's paint so like that we will remove the texture but we will keep the color yeah okay especially from the skin okay this is nice uh, next let's add solid color let's choose light yellow and blending mood overlay and lower opacity and the last thing i think yeah the last i think we will go to hue saturation and uh, we will choose it as soft light and let's add lightness okay and lower a bit opacity so here is before and after okay guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the tutorial please put a like and if you don't want to miss the next one subscribe to my channel bye bye